Good wake up, wake up. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Um, wherever you're joining from, or hello, in case you're not in morning, you're at hello, everyone. And welcome to another exciting and amazing um special GMHS um session. Yes. Today is another beautiful day, and um, it's time for us to come together and praise God and hear from God and, you know, just commit everything um, into his hands. So I want to welcome you all today. I want to welcome every single person here this morning or whatever time zone you are. Welcome, welcome. So once again, please unmute your microphones and say Hello. 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 All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. So quickly, we're just going to go straight into the business of today. My name is Chibi Care, and I am one of the um, prayer leads for the Europe um, PwC Europe um, region. Yes, and I have the special privilege of um, inviting or introducing our guest minister for today, our very special guest minister for today. So allow me a few minutes to just read out her profile. Yes, yeah, so she is a senior marketing executive, a feminine leadership advocate, mm -hmm, an etiquette and lifestyle coach, an author, mentor, and a speaker. And she currently serves as the head of portfolio Bond and Connect West Africa at Pernod Ricard, where she plays a major role in creating and driving the execution of the long-term strategy for sustainable and profitable top and bottom line growth for her portfolio of iconic brand. Yes. She is also the founder of the Refined Lady Movement and a coach for women through an exclusive goal-oriented mastermind. And she also coordinates two prayer ministries for women. To members of PwC, she is no stranger to us at all. And she is a loved sister. She's a loved friend. She's a, she's loved amongst us all. So please, without further ado, can we all, you know, put our hands together physically, virtually? If you can unmute your microphones, if you can turn on your cameras, please do so as we make welcome this morning, Minister Bodam Taiwo. Uh, Lady B. Welcome, Lady B. Welcome, 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 Lady B. Yes, we mostly called Lady B. How can I forget that? <laughs> yeah, thank you so much. Good morning, JBK. Thank you so much. Good morning, ladies. Um, it's a joy to be here. This is home, so I'm not gonna stand on ceremony, right? But um, good morning. We're gonna pray this morning. Um, and we believe God that great things are going to happen. Thank you so much. For the love and my most of my family members. All right. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let's just lift up our voice and give the Lord thanks this morning. Let's, him. Let's honor him. Let's praise him. Thank you, for another opportunity to come into your presence. Thank you, Lord, for life. Thank you for my sisters gathered this morning. Thank you for this altar of GMHS. Thank you for Pray Women's Circle. Makoli Barusa Rabahash Kala Barusa. Thank you, Father, for drawing us into yourself. Thank you because you have ordained this meeting and you have called this meeting and you stirred up our hearts to be here this morning. Masheli Barusa Karabadosa. Holy Spirit, have you your way. Holy Spirit, take over this meeting. Use me as a vessel. Speak through me. Pray through me. Give us the prayer points that are most pleasing to you. Direct us and guide us in the way this meeting should go. Also, Robo 
In Rosoto, Lodo, Cosanto, Robo, Shinti, Good morning again, ladies. So I'm going to go through this really quickly. So from the minute I was asked, you know, to lead today's prayer, I just received a burden in my spirit and I wasn't quite sure what it was. And I was telling myself, ah, Buddha, you're going to have to invest 20 hours of prayer before this meeting so that you can just understand what this burden is that you are, you are feeling. Um, so I didn't get it. And then on Sunday, I was at the outpouring with um, a few of my of my family members and it just opened like a flood and I believe that the Holy Spirit has given me a word for this house um, I will deliver it and we shall pray in the name of Jesus Christ and it will it will we will see the fruition of that which the Lord has said in the name of Jesus so there are a few things and I'm looking down because I'm looking at my lips okay there were a few things that um that you know I believe the Holy Spirit put on my heart the first thing is that he sent me here to sound the alarm and to announce to you that it's a year of jubilee hallelujah he sent me to sound the alarm. hallelujah announced to you that it's a year of jubilee he said to let you know that it is a year of restoration and he said i'm collapsing years into months i'm collapsing months into weeks and i'm collapsing weeks into days in the name of jesus let's just take a moment and just receive that in our spirit let's declare that it's a year of jubilee let's receive that year of restoration Let's receive the collapse of time in our favor in the name of Jesus. Let's decree that years are going to be collapsed into months and months will be collapsed into days and days will be collapsed into weeks in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We declare that it's a year of restoration. We receive this year of restoration. Things that were lost a long time ago, we begin to see a fruition and a manifestation of those things. The year that the canker once stolen. Lekos Taliba. Manker <laughs> Amen. Amen. I read from Isaiah 66. This is a scripture he gave me for you. So Isaiah 66 from verse 7 to verse 14. I have a little for Okay. Mm. Mm -hmm. Isaiah 66, 7 to 14. I'm going to read from the NLT translation. Okay. And the scripture says, before the birth pains even begin, pray women's circle gives birth to a son. Who has ever seen anything as strange as this? Who has ever heard of such a thing? Has a nation been born in a day? Has a country ever come forth in a mere moment? But by the time Pray, the women of praying women's circles, birth pains begin. Her children will be born. Amen. Would I ever Amen. bring this nation to the point of birth and then not deliver it? Ask the Lord. No. I would never keep this nation from being born, says your God. Rejoice with PWC. Be glad with her, all you who love her and all you who mourn for her. Drink deeply of her glory, even as an infant drinks at its mother's comforting breast. This is what the Lord says. I will give PWC a river of peace and prosperity. <laughs> Say that again. This is what the Lord says. I will give PwC a river of peace and prosperity. The wealth of the nations will flow to her. Her children will be nursed at her breast, her carried in her arms and held on her lap. I will comfort you there in PwC as a mother comforts her child. 
When you see these things, your heart will rejoice. You will flourish like the grass. Everyone will see the Lord's hand of blessings on you, his servants, and his Amen. anger against his enemies. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Oh, let's Amen. thank you this moment. Lord, let's begin to declare in the name of Jesus that peace and prosperity are coming to the house. Peace and prosperity is coming to the house. The wealth of the and nation Lord, are going to the Lord. You will nurse your children at your breath. Lord, you will carry them in your arms. You will hold them on your laps. You will be comforted by the Lord. Your heart will be changed. I decree the flourish of the Christ. Everyone will see it in the hand of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, it shall be said, see what has done to you in the name of Jesus. The Lord has done to you. You have the pain and he will not bring you to the point of birth and you will deliver. In the name of Jesus, you give birth and this goes to what he was saying about how he's collapsing time can a nation be born in a day <laughs> the Lord is collapsing yes, years into weeks and into, he's collapsing months into weeks and he's collapsing weeks yes, into Lord. days and this will be your testimony time will favor you in the name of Jesus make that your declaration this morning declare that time will favor you I'm sorry to the as the Lord declares, Amen. Amen. The Lord said to tell um, that as we pray this morning, he said he's going to release a dimension of himself to us. Hmm. He said he will meet us at our various points of need. Let's give God praise for that. Let's give God praise that as we're here this morning, he's releasing a dimension of himself to us. That's the highest thing we can ever ask for, for the Lord to give us the gift of himself. Money is great. Cars are beautiful. Houses are fantastic. Children are fantastic. Husbands are great. Whatever healing is amazing. But when the Lord gifts us the gift of himself, that's an incomparable blessing. So let's give God praise this morning. Let's just raise our hands to the Lord this morning. I said, Father, I just receive more of you. Or just one minute, just make that your declaration. Father, yes, I Lord. receive more of you. I receive more of you. Jesus, I receive more, more of you. Lord. Receive more of oh, you. Give me a token oh, of you. Baptize oh, me with your presence. Surround me with your favor. Immerse me in your glory. Give me more of you, Jesus. Bless me with more of yourself. Give me a token of yourself. Bless me with your presence. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Okay. Mm, okay. All right, but um, praise God. So the first thing that we must do as a house, he said all these promises, but he also gave me a word of what we must do as a house, and that's we must jointly repent. And he said three distinct things for me to say to us. The first thing he said, why, and this is the reason why we're repenting as a house, okay? The first thing he said that there's some wives who have harbored seemingly legitimate resentments against their husbands and against their enemies. And he went on to expound in my heart how there's some women who maybe they know what they bargained for when they got married. They didn't bargain to be maybe the, the main breadwinners of their homes. They didn't bargain to have a man that's maybe not standing up in his position as priest or as provider or even as the father. And you're actually justified, quote and unquote, in your resentment. You're justified in your feelings of frustration. You know, you have some of us have in-laws that are um, intruding into the setup of our matrimonial homes. Some of us have in-laws that are over overwhelming. Some of us have in-laws that are a bit abusive. And the Lord has said that 
We have wives amongst us who have have seemingly legitimate resentment, but that is not his order. That is not his order. So we're going to come to the Lord in repentance this morning. That's the first thing. The second one he said is their mothers amongst us who are tired and resentful of this season, especially those who are bringing up young children. So mothers bringing up kids without help, mothers who are doing this journey alone. So some um, some um, single mothers, for example, some widowed um, women, you know, divorced women. And they just, there's just this feeling of tiredness, fatigue and resentment in this season where they're having to bring up children, especially those who are bringing up the children without help. The Lord said these are blessings that we asked him for. And these are blessings that he received to us, that the gift of children is you partnering with him to raise another soul to fulfill destiny on the earth so he said we're going to come to him in repentance this morning for that feeling of resentment and for that feeling of fatigue for the murmuring and the complaints that mothers have said um about their children that's the second thing and the third is for unmarried women who have harbored bitterness resentment and unforgiveness especially against men they were in relationships with who did not work out or against God for not answering them, um, even though they did everything right, right? So unmarried women who have harbored bitterness and unforgiveness against men who they were in relationship with, and for some against God for not answering them, even when they seemingly did everything right. The Lord said he has seen a lot of murmuring and a lot of complaints, even as, you know, as jokes. And he said, you know, my daughters don't mean harm. I know I see their hearts. But even, you know, sometimes he said as jokes, he said, sometimes he just said as gist. But he said that we have to come as um a house and just ask the Lord for repentance. Ask the Lord to come in, in, in a day of repentance. So wherever you are this morning, I want you to read. Just, yes, use, your Lord, Lord. just use your words and say, Father, I am sorry. Lord, I am sorry. I'm sorry for times I have murmured against you. I'm sorry for times I've complained. I'm sorry for bitterness and tension. I'm sorry for offense that has seeped in. Whether it's legitimate, whether it's justified, Lord, I am sorry. Oh, for perhaps mercy upon us. Have mercy upon me. Have mercy upon me. Jesus. Have mercy upon Trinity in circle as a house. Have mercy, Jesus. Father. Let your mercy speak for us. Today, I want you to lay down your justifiable anger. I want you to lay down your justifiable justice of resentment. I want you to lay down your justifiable uh, unforgiveness, your justifiable bitterness. Lay it before the Lord this morning. Say, Father, yes, I will be disappointed in my husband. But I lay that at your feet this morning. Lord, yes. I'm fatigued and resentful because I'm doing this child raising thing without help. I lay it at your feet this morning. Father, I am, I am, I may be full of some level of bitterness deep on the inside of me because of relationships that didn't work out. I lay it at your feet this morning. Whatever you have, the Holy Spirit is, is highlighting to people this morning areas where we need to repent. Just repent this morning. Oh, Father, have mercy. have mercy over this house. Have mercy over this house. Have mercy over the waters. Lord, let your mercy. Let it speak. Let your mercy speak for us. I'm going to give you one minute more. You need to use your words and you need to ask the Lord for mercy. You need to use your words and ask the Lord for mercy. Really come before the Lord in repentance this morning because all the promises that the Lord has given to us, I just sense that we've sort of given legitimate access to the enemy to do one or two things. And it's just this thing. We have to seal that, that access by just coming to the Lord with repentance. I'm going to give you one minute more. Amande one minute more, just repent before your father. Eya bayon de levra du shalabakashta. Le barusa zente livra and dianda kada bados ila barusa kadi and do shalaba. Rema seke livra dus ila baramba zote livra du shalabaha. Recolte de leba dus in da yandosh ila barabadosha. Le zote livra kazi and do shaliba rosa. Lord, we are sorry. 
Let your mercy speak for us. Let your mercy speak over this house. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you, God. In Jesus' name, we have repented. Amen. And Father, you know, we just come together as a house, Lord, again. And we say, Father, that we are sorry. We are sorry. We lay everything before you. We lay down our anger. We lay down our hurts. We lay down our disappointments. We lay down our bitterness. We lay down our fears. We lay down our frustrations. We lay down our resentment at your feet. Lord, we hand it over to you and we give you room, Father, to just act on our behalf in the name of Jesus. Lord, we ask that your mercy speaks for us. We ask that your mercy covers us. Your mercy goes before us. Your mercy surrounds us like a shield. As we lay down our rights to our rights, Lord, we ask that you step in and you begin to fight battles on our behalf in the name of Jesus. We ask that you begin to fight those battles on our behalf because, Lord, we know that any battle you're involved in is already won. In Bazola Berusa, we invite you, Lord of the angel armies, to come in, in our midst, Lord, and begin to fight the battles on behalf of us and our sisters in the name of Jesus for us, Lord. Fight the battles that we've been fighting by ourselves. Lift up those burdens from us. Holy Spirit, fill our hearts with joy again. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I'm going to read from Isaiah chapter 12. Isaiah chapter 12 from verse 1 to verse 6. Isaiah 12 verses 1 to 6. And I'm going to read, and someone can help me put it in the comments as well. Isaiah 12 from verse 1. In that day you will sing and you will say, I will praise you, O Lord. You were angry with me, but not anymore. Now you comfort me. Amen. See, Amen. God has saved me. I will trust in him and I will not be afraid. The Lord God is my strength and my song. He has given me victory. Hallelujah. Oh, let's, you know what? Let's just make this application this morning. Can somebody praise the Lord? Because Hallelujah. Now he has come to comfort us in the name of Jesus. Our Lord has come to Amen. save us. He, we will trust in him Thank and you, we will not be afraid. Yes, Lord. Lord. The Lord is our Jesus. friend and he's our song. He has given us victory. He has given you victory. He has given your family victory. He has Amen. given you victory. He has Amen. given you victory in the Amen. name of Jesus. With Amen. joy. You will drink deeply from the fountain of salvation. Amen. Drink deeply from the fountain of salvation. And in Amen. that wonderful day, and I declare that that wonderful day is today. In that wonderful day, you will sing. Thank the Lord and praise his name. Hallelujah. Today, Hallelujah. Thank the Lord and praise his name. Going out from this meeting, you will sing. Thank the Lord and praise his name. Amen. As your testimonies begin to roll in, you will sing, thank the Lord and praise his name. You will tell Amen. the nations what he has done, and you will let them know how mighty he is. We decree in the name of Jesus that this week's testimony Friday, you will have a testimony in the name of Jesus. Amen. Cry with me. See what the Lord has done for me. See how he has fought my battles. Look at how he has given me victory. Amen. See how he granted me favor. Look Amen. at how he has celebrated me. I declare Amen. over this morning that it shall be noised abroad that you are marvelously helped by God. It will be spoken Amen. in heaven how the Lord has marvelously helped you. Your testimony mm -hmm. is so loud that it cannot be something you're covered. You know, when a woman is, first of all, in the early stages of pregnancy, she can wear different clothes to hide the pregnancy and all of that. But when the fullness of time has come, you will, she doesn't even need to say anything. She doesn't announce I'm pregnant or not. You will see her and you will see what the Lord has done. That is your testimony. Oh, in the name of Jesus. People Amen. Will, Amen. Are seeing, Amen. 
mm -mm. just by looking at you, the glory of the Lord will be visible upon you. People will see you. Say, who is you? Where have you gone? What have you done? And you will have the great honor of introducing them to Jesus Christ. Amen. <laughs> In the name of Jesus, you will see Hallelujah. he has done wonderful things. You will make known his praise around the world. Around the world, you will make known the praise of God. Amen. Let all the people of PWC shout his praise with joy. Hallelujah. Of Israel, who lives among us. Oh, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Rejoicing the, uh, at the sound of rejoicing and at the blast of the trumpets, the walls of Jericho came down. <laughs> the sound of rejoicing and the blast of the trumpets the walls of jericho came down as we activate there's something about the spirit of joy with joy we will draw from the wells of salvation Hallelujah. as you begin to activate and dance you're going to do something prophetic this morning you will activate by foster spirits of joy i don't know i don't and quite frankly i don't really i'm not bothered about the weight of the problem i'm not so bothered you know some people are, oh my goodness Ibudam, if you knew if you knew the things that are happening hmm. this morning we're going to we're going to do an act of faith and say, you know, by the spirit of joy, the spirit of joy is not the spirit of happiness. That means in the season and out of season, there is joy. When things are up and when things are down, there is joy. You know, when Paul and Silas were in the, in the prison, it, it, it's not normal. It's not natural to be in chains. You, you might be dead in the morning. Is it normal to just stay there and begin to give praise? Just sit and begin to sing and dance and shout and, and do so in such a way that the prisoners heard them. <laughs> but it, it provoked an action in the realm of the spirit. I'm going to provoke an action this morning in the realm of the spirit in the name of Jesus. As we begin to, I'm just going to ask, I don't know what you want to do. I'm just going to pray in the spirit for a few minutes. And I want you to get up. I want you to dance. I want you to just shout. I want you to begin to laugh. Some of us need to laugh. <laughs> Some of us just need to laugh in the spirit. And as you begin to do that this morning, walls are coming down. As we begin to do that this morning, those mountains are being laid flat. In the name of Jesus, we have a bunch Somebody needs to dance this morning. Majele Borosa Kari and Duzaraba. Rebosi Kari Bokosha Ripa Dosa. Ramas. I receive joy. I receive Joy, joy, like a river, joy of the flows. Ah, so it's a joy like a river. Joy like a river. upon me in my household, in my environment. I'm not, I am an embodiment of God's joy. I am an embodiment of Jesus' joy. In the name of Jesus, the joy of the Lord flows. The joy of the Lord will in the name of Jesus. You will not have to cross the land. It goes from you. The Libra Kadosh, Yaka 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 Maka Calibra, 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 Thank you, Father. 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 Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We laugh. <laughs> Amen. 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 
you will you will you will laugh so people they will see you have you ever been be laughing you don't even know why the person is laughing, but the way the person is laughing makes you laugh. That kind of laughter. Yeah. That, that's the kind of Thank you, Jesus, for laughter. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Um, Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Lord. Can someone just help me with that sound? Just help me just sing that one time over this house in the name of Jesus. Someone with a voice. Just help us and just give us that sound in the name of Jesus Christ. Nobody, okay. So we, have, we, have, we have our worship team members here. They can help us with that. Thank you. Can so someone you. from the worship team please help us? Do we have Adesola here? Mm-hmm. Or oh, Adesola yeah, Peters, are you able to on me? If not miracle, what am I with? Yes. 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 So bright, yeah. so I become the light. Imole deo, Imole deo, Imole Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank I hear you. light has come. I hear light I... has come. And when I... light comes, you know, the darkness has to run at the sight of light. So darkness and light cannot stay in the same place. It is not possible. It can't happen. So light has come. Light has come into that your situation. Light has come into that Amen. area very clear you see mm. there's some things that you know um, we're wondering that why is why is this thing happening we don't quite know things are not really just aligning the way they should there's light dawning into that situation there's Thank light you. coming into that situation as mm. the light begins to shine you begin to see things clearly as the light begins to shine secrets are uncovered as the light begins to shine um things that happened in the darkness shall come to light so nothing Amen the light nothing can withstand the light as the light yes. comes, it's the dawning of a new day it's so Amen. amazing this is 5 a.m in the morning and you know in just an hour depending on where you are my time it's 5 a.m in a few hours it's the light is going to dawn and when the light dawns it's the announcing of a new day i hear that it's a new day it's a new Amen. day it's a new day it's a new season in the name of jesus and i know that one my sisters are saying, look, Lady Buddha, I've heard this thing before. I've heard the new day before. I've heard a new season before. Nothing seems to change. Listen, release your faith one last time. Hmm. Partner with God one last time. Trust the Holy Spirit one last time. And you will see what God is going to do. It is a new day for you in the name of Jesus. It is a new day for your Amen. Life. In the name of Jesus. I don't Amen. just standing here by ourselves i see us standing here as as representatives of our individual homes so i want you to declare it's a new day for my family i declare it's a new day for the time it's a new day for my family it's a new day for every lineage that I'm associated with. It's a new day for my generations. Generations from now, they will remember today, the 8th of November, 2023, light dawn. The 8th of November, 2023, something broke open over our generation. It's a new day for Nigeria. It's a new day for United Kingdom. It's a new day for the United Kingdom. 
for America. It's a new day for the United States. It's a new day for the United a new day for the continent. It's a new day for Europe. It's a new day for Pray Women's Circle. It's a new day for our local assemblies. It's a new day. It's a new day and it's a new dawn. In the name of the Lord Jesus, declare that over yourself that it's a new day. Hmm. It's a new day. Light has come. The old has gone. A new season. A new dispensation. I hear that it's a new dispensation. You're not under the old government any longer. It's a new dispensation. And this dispensation, my sisters, is favoring you. We're in the dispensation of God. We're in the dispensation of the Christ. We're in the dispensation of the Holy Spirit. People will see a great light. Hmm. And then I hear Isaiah 60. Where is it now? Arise and let your light shine for all to see, for the glory of the Lord rises to shine on you. That's another dimension of light. It's not just, you're not, we're not just them. Um, the light is not just favoring you. The light, your own light now needs to shine. Hmm. So the dispensation is changing. Can you arise? Can you arise? Can you arise? Can you arise? Some of us are waiting on God. The Lord says, I'm waiting on you. Can you arise in your industry? Can you arise in your community? Can you arise as a savior of your family? Can you arise in your local assembly? Can you even arise on your street? Arise, women of PWC, and let your light shine for all to see. The glory of the Lord rises to shine on you. The glory of the Lord is shining on you. The glory of the Lord so Surrounds you. The glory of the Lord encompasses you. You step out from here and people begin to say, is it the MAC powder? Because I don't understand this glow. Is it this shade of lipstick? Because I don't understand the glow up. <laughs> and that's a word for someone. You're glowing up in the name of Jesus. You will glow so much that it will show on your skin. You will glow so much that people will wonder if it's vitamin C serum. You will glow as the sun. You're glowing up. You're glowing up. Your light is shining that your pores are beginning to do like this. They're going to be like, what facial did you go to do? Because why can I just see glory all around you? There is glory all around you. 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 The glory of the Lord is resting on us this morning in the name of Jesus my goodness glory is on you glory is around you you know I see coronations I actually see coronations I see multiple studded crowns and the Lord is, is crowning us this morning in the name of Jesus he's releasing to you a dimension of authority a dimension of authority. You see, this glory that you're now walking in, this glory that is surrounding you, it's giving you a dimension of authority. When you speak now, people will listen. When you show up, people just want to turn to be like, who is that woman and what does she carry? You carry a dimension of the presence of God. You carry the glory of God. The glory, the glory, the glory. I keep on hearing that. You have the authority of God. 
you have the authority of God. So you're going to legislate this morning. We're going to legislate this morning. My goodness. I still see the crowning. The Lord is crowning us. The Lord is crowning us. There's some of us that will go from this, this altar and begin to just be propelled so drastically and radically in our industry. I see that so clearly. So radically in our industry. Some of you will go from, from being known as nobody and you're being propelled to the very front. It's not because you are the most brilliant. It's not because you are the most whatever, right? It's the glory and it's this crowning moment that's going on. I see that. I see that. I see that. If you're in the media and entertainment industry, there is a special dimension of himself. The Lord is releasing to you. Because it's because the darkness is getting darker. And he needs his light to shine even in that industry. I'm going to tell you in two seconds why the media and entertainment, if you're in media and entertainment, why it's so important. And Ayo, I see you as such a frontliner. Because it's one tool that is used to reach the masses. It's one tool that can reach millions of people with just I mean, just in a, in, in a moment of time, reach billions of people in a moment of time. The Lord is saying, I need my light to shine in that industry. And uh, the Holy Spirit, help me. I'm just going to say this how I hear it. And it's like, I don't need you in media to do Christian things, um, to, 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 to do Christian things in media. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Okay. He gave me a parallel just now that there are movies, right? That he's not asking you to go and do the type of film that, that every two seconds they're going to be talking about Jesus and going to be talking about how the Holy Spirit came and whatever. That's not what he's looking for. He's saying that there are some movies that you will do, that all that movie is about is showcasing the beauty of the institution of marriage. You will not mention the name of God once. You will not mention the name of Jesus once in that movie. But undergirded in that movie, first of all, is intercession. I need you to rise up and to stand as intercessors. Stand as intercessors over your mountain. You will undergird those movies you will undergird those pieces of content with intercession number one so that every time somebody is rising up and is somebody is watching that movie something is just seeping like intravenous they're just seeing the beauty of the marriage institution again they're just seeing the nobility of being a mother they're just seeing subtle things about celibacy and 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 um you know, waiting until marriage being strewn in. That's the type of thing. A clean movies, entertaining movies across different genres, action, uh, uh, romance, suspense, medical drama, undergirded by intercession, no nudity, no pornography, no sex scenes, no swear words. It, can we release our faith for just a second? Can you see it? I see it. I see it. And I hear, and I hear, He's releasing um, the, the funds that, that are going to be used for these type of projects. He's releasing it. Because, you know, the media, you need money. We actually need money. We need billions of dollars. And he's releasing it. He's releasing it. He's actually releasing it. And I see some people who are not even believers. Some people who do not even profess as Christians. I see some of this money in the hands of Muslims. Actually, actually. And you will just pitch to them your idea. You will pitch to them that movie script. You will pitch to them that documentary. You will pitch to them that travel show. You will pitch to them that thing that you want to just showcase about Africa. Make 
Charlie Baru's that are behind it, and they will buy into it. And they'll say, let me just set up a, a, a fund for you. Mashe Kele Baru I actually see that some of us, the Lord is putting scripts that you're going to write about Africa. You know, we're going to turn the narrative about Africa. We're not just a, a, country, a continent where is poverty flies in the nose? I, I see, actually, that is coming into the hearts of people. Hmm. It will begin to expound in your hearts. You're receiving a movie about Africa. Some of you are receiving the mandate to be, oh Lord, I put myself, amen. Some of you are receiving a mandate and a burden to rewrite the PR story of Africa. Not just only the negative any longer. Branding this continent. And if you're living outside of Africa, don't don't um don't disqualify yourself. Don't remove yourself and say, well, if it doesn't concern me, it actually concerns you. It actually concerns you. It actually concerns you because the world will begin to treat us better when our continent rises. So that's coming into the hearts of people. I see that very clearly. The Lord is releasing those blueprints. He's releasing those blueprints about this continent, releasing those blueprints, those in media and entertainment in particular. I, I see connecting lines very soon very quickly connecting lines so you need to be prepared <laughs> you need to be prepared because those moments of opportunities are coming i see the connecting lines being drawn in the spirit some of you have just written out scripts but you have no clue about how to produce a movie no clue about how to direct anything i see the connecting lines coming if that's what you need just receive that in the name of jesus Rekos inge livra gazian dus ila baraba dosa maka libarosa and delivra dusha rabahande liga zote livra kosh ila baraba dus e bazunta la badusha raba. Oh, thank you, precious Holy Spirit. Thank you, precious Holy Spirit. Thank you, precious Holy Spirit. I see a wave of anointing for those who are in the medical field. Shala bakosa tande livra kosa rabahashta. You will be preferred, whether you're a nurse, whether you're a doctor, whether you're a surgeon, whether you are a, uh, a masuk handele frakush. I even say for those who are in the labs, for those who are in the labs, masekendele frakush. You are right on the front line. The Lord says He's going to partner with you and release upon you a dimension of the healing anointing. I see it very clearly. A dimension of the healing anointing. Masekendele frakush. You will not just heal their bodies. You will partner with the Holy Spirit. And and with the Lord, and you, you, just by you walking into that hospital room, something begins to happen to their spirit. I need you to release your faith for that in the name of Jesus. You walk in there to give a prescription for a migraine, you leave with a soul one for Christ. I see you spending hours in waiting intercession. You will actually pick up your case files and you be like ah, um, uh, uh, Taiwo, this is the thing you 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 will intercede for her so when you enter inside you don't be surprised that somebody comes to you they, they need a, a a consult about a kidney thing and they begin to pour out the the issues in their lineage is <laughs> an access point the lord is giving you access the lord is giving you access if you're in the medical field if you're a doctor if you're a nurse if you're a surgeon if you're in the the labs even i see that i don't know why i keep on seeing the labs the lord is giving you access he's giving you access to the hearts and to the minds of his children he's giving you access oh thank you oh my goodness thank you holy spirit hmm. Thank you, Jesus. I see um, a special grace the Lord just released just in this moment over teachers of young children, teachers of young children. So if you're a teacher or you're a tutor uh, or you're a caretaker or you have a crash of young children, babies, 
one to up to like about five or six years old is, is sort of what I see. The Lord is releasing a grace to you right now in the name of Jesus. And it's an Amashulabaru Sakariando Saraba. Oh, thank you, Jesus. He's releasing a grace and an anointing because he needs to catch this next generation young. I owe He's asking if you will partner with him to raise this next generation because we have mothers and fathers that are too busy chasing financial and economic gain that they have left their primary post as fathers and mothers and their primary post to raise up children. And the Lord is asking teachers of young children in particular that if you can just partner with him, just partner with the Holy Spirit. Pray over your students. He wants to, uh, there's a deliverance that's coming to the next generation. There's a deliverance. That, uh, there's a deliverance that the Lord is releasing. There's a deliverance, but he needs those that can partner with him. He needs those that can partner with him. So he's releasing a grace over you. You in your heart, you will receive such a compassion. You will actually receive a tangible emotional compassion and connection. Man deliver go shraba. A compassion and connection to those that you are raising and those that you are teaching. You will almost see them as an extension of your own children. You will carry them in your heart. You will labor over them in intercession. You will labor over them in fasting. The Lord will begin to give you prophetic blueprints about what this person can be. You will just sit, sleep and you will dream about one or two of your students, but you will not dream about them today. You will dream about them in, in, in 10 years, in 40 years for some of them. And the Lord is saying he's releasing to you um. He's giving you the gift of prophetic, uh, a prophetic dimension of the future of that child so that you know how to partner with him in the present to set them on the path of that future. That is a weighty responsibility. Oh Lord, we ask for grace in the name of Jesus. We ask for grace for these ones in the name of Jesus. We ask for grace for these ones in the name of Jesus. Mm. Mm -hmm. grace lord grace lord grace lord grace lord this one is weighty this one is really weighty we ask you for grace father we ask for grace and strength they will not leave their battle post it, can, can, ladies can we spend a minute interceding over teachers even if they're not here let's just spend a minute interceding over teachers of young children teachers in general they will not abandon their battle posts they will not think it's just about imparting knowledge of one plus one and two plus two they would really see the responsibility they have we decree grace over them in the name of Jesus. They will partner with the Lord Jesus Christ to do great and mighty things in this time and in this season. It will be counted to them a generation. It will be counted to them as a generation. They will see one, but it will be counted as a generation. Grace, grace, grace in the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. My goodness. Masha Liba Rosarabakandi and Dusarabahashta. And the Lefra Kos Inga Labarandi Libo Sharabahashta. Hey, I got Liba Zosa Labarus, the Kandi and Dusarabasta. E Galabarus Inga Labazente Lefra Kos Ila Baramba Sutari and Dusharaba. I rejoice with you in the name of Jesus. Oh glory to God. Glory to God. One last prayer point before we close out for this morning, I think, in the name of Jesus. 
Ah, Shaliba, can we just give God praise for a second? Oh, thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you for brooding over this meeting. Thank you for releasing to us a dimension of yourself. Thank you for encouraging things. Thank you, Lord, for even what you're doing under the surface. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you, just be sensitive i actually see so many gifts so many gifts I, we can't even we can't even receive all in this time in this meeting it's not possible so throughout today i want you to just be sensitive in your spirit because if you just receive a nudge for something just say yes and amen yes and amen father i receive that thing you're bringing yes and amen holy spirit mm -hmm, i receive it Th things will begin to bubble up the lord will open your eyes to see the gifts that he has yeah, that is just everywhere it's all around what i actually see it's almost like a, a cloud covering this this meeting. And I see beautifully wrapped boxes. I see them wrapped in gold and in silver with little bows. <coughs> some of them are smaller, some of them are big. <laughs> some of them are smaller, some of them are bigger, some of them the wrapping paper is elaborate. Wow, it is just so much. It's a weighty cloud of gifts. A weighty cloud of gifts. I want you to just, just take a moment and receive what you need. Oh, I receive what I need. I receive what I need. Yes and amen. Yes and amen. Yes and amen. I receive it all, Lord. I receive it all. Uh, for some of us, we actually need to ask the Lord to increase our capacity. We need to ask him to increase our capacity because, you know, we're coming with like um, this type of thing to say, but what we need, <laughs> we need like... <laughs> Oh, Lord, we thank you. One last prayer point and we close out for today. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, you're receiving great gifts. Great gifts. Exceedingly, abundantly, above what you can even ask, think, or imagine. Some of the things you're receiving today in this particular meeting will speak for you in five years. Some of the gifts you're receiving will speak for you in seven years. Some of the gifts you're receiving will speak for you in 20 years. You're receiving some things not just for you, you're receiving it on behalf of your generation. There are some things that are coming to you today. Make a libarus that it shifts forever the trajectory of your, of your, of your life. Mangele, just partner with Lord, say so Holy Spirit, hand in hand. Let's just be going. <laughs> Let's just be going. I receive all that you have for me. I receive it on behalf of my family. I receive it on behalf of my generation. I actually receive it on behalf of my nation, Nigeria. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Oh Lord, are we gonna get through this? Asali Things are turning. Things are actually turning. Things are actually turning. Actually turning around. I see that. Things are turning around. Things are turning around. Mm. Things are turning around. Things are turning around. Things are turning around. Things are turning around in your favor. I hear judgments overturned. Hmm. I actually saw, you know, like that um, lawyers in the house, what's that thing? The gavel. I actually saw the gavel, you know, being um, uh, um, hit on the, oh, holy, you know that thing, someone should help me with it in the comment section. The gavel being hit on whatever they hit it on, and I just heard judgment overturned. Judgment overturned. Even the legitimate uh, consequences of, of mistakes and it is overturned, is actually overturned. The mercy of God is speaking in this moment. Judgment overturned. I see that so clearly. I see things just, just flipping, flipping around. Oh, Masali Baro Shakandi and Things are turning in your favor. Mashekele Badu Saraba. Judgment overturned. In the name of Jesus. Ah, La Baro Shakandi and Hashta. Yes, yes, even the lawful captive, the lawful captive is set free. Actually, yes. <laughs> Christopher, I actually heard that. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. 
I'm going to leave you with Amos 9, Amos 9, 13 to 15. And it says, behold, the days are coming. Hmm. The days are coming, declares the Lord, when the reaper will be overtaken by the plowman and the planter overtaken by the one treading grapes. New wine will drip from the mountains and flow from all the hills. And I will bring my people, PWC, back from exile. They will rebuild the ruined cities and live in them. They will plant vineyards and drink their wine. They will make gardens and eat their fruits. I will plant PWC in their own land, never Never again to be uprooted from the land I have given them, says the Lord your God. Amos chapter 9, 13 to 15. You go and ruminate on that. And I'm going to leave you with five declarations from that in the name of with five declarations you're going to say in the name of Jesus. Declaration number one, there will be a bountiful harvest in the name of Jesus. I declare over you that you are stepping into a season of abundance. You, the harvest is coming so quickly. You are, you are picking, you are picking, but it's growing even faster than you can harvest. I declare over this house that was stepping into a season of abundance in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. There's a bountiful harvest that's coming in the name of the Lord Jesus. Declaration number two, your mountain is going to speak in your favor. The mountain, whatever your mountain is, it will drip with wine. The hills will run with this sweet wine in the name of Jesus. Begin to just declare whatever mountain you have been called to brings forth oil. That oil begins to come forth now. Whether you're called to the mountain of media, the mountain of business and commerce, the mountain of government, the mountain of whatever it is, politics, whatever mountain you are called to, make a libra begin to declare that it begins to drip oil in the name of Jesus. It gives up of its goods to you in the name of Jesus Christ. The mountain responds to you. It hears your voice. When you come, it just begins to drip with wine. Oil comes forth from that mountain for you. You are graced. The mountain is you are graced for that mountain. It brings forth for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Third, I will declare it again. I said it earlier because that's one of the things the Lord said to us. But I declare it again. It's a season of restoration and rebuilding. It's a season of restoration and rebuilding. You will rebuild the lost things. You will restore everything that was lost. It's coming to you in this season in the name of Jesus. I hear this is a season of second chances. For some, this is a season of 10th chances. Don't even count the chances. It's a new season. It's a new day. There's a restoration that's coming in the name of Jesus. You will rebuild. You have strength to rebuild. You're not too old to rebuild. You're not too tired to rebuild. You're not too forgotten to rebuild you're not too derelict to rebuild you will rebuild and you will rebuild an edifice that will stand in the name of the lord jesus i declare over you in the name of jesus christ that you will not just rebuild you will dwell in safety in that thing that you've rebuilt in the name of jesus for some of you you will rebuild your marriage for some of you you rebuild your finances some of you your health is even going to be rebuilt i see creative miracles in the name of jesus body parts being exchanged the lord is rebuilt oh my cause i love Rusha Kandi and Doshaba. For some of us, the Lord is rebuilding us. He's rebuilding our bodies. He's rebuilding our minds. He's rebuilding our emotions. There's a work of restoration and rebuilding that's going on in the name of Jesus. The fourth declaration I declare over you, you will reap the fruits of that which you sow in peace. You will reap the fruits of that which you sow in peace. Nothing will trouble you. No man shall trouble you because you bear the marks of Christ on your body. You will reap in peace. You you will reap bountifully in peace. The environment shall respond to you. Your neighbors will dwell with you in peace. Those that were formerly your enemies will come and make peace with you. You will live in peace and prosperity in the name of Jesus Christ. The fifth thing I declare over you in the name of Jesus is that you will be established. You will be established. You will be established. That land you are in, you will be established. Too many of the Lord's daughters are acting like nomads, even in the place. And the Lord said, mm, the mercy of the Lord is speaking because some of us, he didn't send us to where we're going. We went by the flesh. The Lord says, but just by virtue of this meeting, Barusa, he is extending his mercy and his grace. So even those that went where they, they were not sent, Today, the Lord is establishing you in the land, in the name of Jesus. Some of us went to places where without the right papers, some of us went, the mercy of God is 
speaking in the name of Jesus, you will be established. You'll be established in the land. Some of you, the establishment might seem like an upturning one, overturning. It is so that ultimately it's working for your good. If there's a shaking that starts coming after here, don't worry. Say that it's working for my good because there's an establishment that's happening. And for establishment to happen, sometimes the foundation needs to be moved around a little. Sometimes we need to break so we can get to the root, so we can fix the foundations, so we can rebuild. Makonde Lev Ragosh and the Holy Spirit will uncover that much more to you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for this morning. Thank you for this beautiful time we've spent in your presence. Thank you, Lord, for how the words you've spoken to us, the words you've spoken over us. Thank you, Lord, for how you've loved upon us this morning. Oh, Jesus, we give you praise. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for just speaking such accurate words. Thank you for encouraging our hearts. Thank you for speaking to us for today and for the future. Thank you for the gifts that you've bestowed upon us. Lord, we are grateful. We are grateful. We are grateful. I am grateful. Thank you, Jesus, for using me as a vessel. Thank you for speaking through me. Thank you for, for, for just, just taking over this meeting and making it your meeting. Thank you for always honoring us with your presence. Thank you for everything that we've said, that you have said to us today. In the name of Jesus, may we see a manifestation of all the promises that you've spoken this moment in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. We love you. We honor you. We're truly grateful to be your daughters. May today favor you in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Glory to God. Thank you very much. Amen. 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 Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Can we just unmute our microphones and, you know, just say thank you, Lady B. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. And whilst we're so very sad, can we just say a word of prayer for God? Can we just say a word of prayer for God? Can we just say a word of prayer for God? Can we just say a word the life of the world, the world will be too high in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, do me a fresh day filling of the Holy Ghost. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of the Holy Ghost. In the name of the Holy Ghost. Mala suke ya ma de ala shike va. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, Lady B, thank you so much. Thank you for having yourself to God you know this especially this morning for us you know may God continue to replenish you and amen. bless you in Jesus name amen, amen. all right amen. thank you so much for everyone who is here who has attended um can I ask if we have newcomers in the house if, if this is your very very first time of attending PwC do you want to just put your hand up for any PwC meeting it would just be nice do we have anyone like that if you can just put your hand up, that will be very, very, very nice. If this is your first time of attending any PwC meeting. Anyways, um, let me just quickly say that in case this is your first time, um, the PwC, it's an acronym for Pray and Praying Women's Circle, not Price Without um, Cup, no. It's Praying Women's Circle. And yes, it's just as the name signifies. It's, a, it's an interdenominational group of women who come to just pray. We are united with one purpose and that purpose is prayer. So yes, welcome to PwC. If this is your very first time of joining, um, you are very much welcome. Our room is open. There is so much love here. Yes, so you can always be a member if you want to. If you're wondering, oh, what is this PwC about? Um, a link will be shared um, in the chat box. So please connect. Just, just take that first step of faith. Click on that link and God will handle the rest. <laughs> Praise the Lord. All right, so um, some quick announcements before we leave. Right, we still have quite a number of people, so I think I'll just do this first. So today is one of us's birthday. 
Yes. Uh, we call her. All oh, right. Yes, yes, yes. Her name is Adenike. Adenike, so happy birthday to you. She was, um, she is one of our coordinators, yes. But she was a former coordinator, yes. And is still very much part of the PwC family. So please, can we all just celebrate Adenike um, Alatari this morning? Happy birthday to you. Or celebrate her today. Today is your birthday. Say a prayer oh, for her. Thank you, and Say a prayer for her, yes. Um, thank you, Jibike. Yes. Yes, you guys Thank are you, really sisters. Amazing. Thank you, Happy Jibika. birthday. Yes, yes. Happy so please. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. Happy Happy birthday. birthday. For your Thank you. the new year. You are blessed in Jesus. Amen. 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 Thank Amen. you, She's ladies. Thank you, Jibika. <laughs> You're such a power. So yes, thank you very much. Thank you very much for that. Yeah, Peter Beast, we know how to show love. All right, quickly to the remaining announcements. So we have three um sessions of GMHS daily. Yes, daily, because we are everywhere in the world, if I'm allowed to put it that way. So yes, we have, and when I say three sessions, these three sessions are because we're in different regions of the world. So we have um in the Africa region, we usually meet at 4 30 a.m. WAT. And um, in Europe, the Europe region, we, we meet at 6 a.m. GMT. And, and I think in the Americas, uh, we meet at 5 a.m. Um, CST. So you can pick any one. You can do all three if you have the grace. Why not? <laughs> and you will be blessed in Jesus' name. And aside that, we also have several programs across our subgroups. So yes, when you join, that's why I said just click that link. Step of faith. Click on that link and you know, let every other thing take its course. So we have several subgroups um, in PwC. We have the we have a group for the single people, yes, just in case you're wondering. We have a group for married people. We have a group for people who are um, um pre-selected moms, in case you're a single mom. Yes, we have a group. So we have a group for everyone. So there is something, there's definitely something for you. So please participate and you'll be glad you did. And in case you're in PwC and you're not in any subgroup, please. Um, just indicate in the chat box and um, one of our lovely coordinators will get back to you. All right. Um, all right. So, um, okay. Um, yes. And um, one more, one or two more announcements. Yes. We have a special program that we do every once a while. I think every month, every two months, I think every month. And it's called the Healing Room. Yes, Healing Room. And it's just an avenue to come with your burdens. You just come, you just pray, and, you know, let God do the rest. So the next healing room is on the 18th of November, 10 days away. 18th of November, 10 days away. So as the name is healing room, come and let God heal you. Let God heal you. Let God heal you. So don't forget 18th of November, um, and it's at 6 p.m., 6 p.m. West African time. Details will be shared on the groups. Details will be shared on all the subgroups. So in case you are still, you're, you're new to PwC, or this is your first time joining, and you're wondering, oh, what is this? No problem. Click that link in the chat box. Click on that link and let, let's take it from there. Let's take it from there. Right. So um, I think I have exhausted all the announcements that I have. Thank you once again, everyone, for joining. And I pray, you know, as Buddha has prayed for us, I also pray for us that as we go forth this day, you know, we are sensitive to the leadings of the Holy Spirit. We are sensitive to the leadings of the Holy Spirit. We have that capacity. We have enlarged capacity to receive all that God has for us today and even for the years to come in Jesus' name. So for yeah. one last time, can we just all unmute our microphones and shout hallelujah? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you very much. Um, Abimbola, is that it? Are we good to go or have I missed anything? Yes, yes, we're good to go. Thank you so much, darling. Everything on point. Good morning, ladies. So we'll not be able to pray, I uh, mean, to play the worship song because we've gone ahead of time already so have a great day god bless you thank you so much for coming god bless you everyone thank you everyone, ladies have a beautiful day god bless you bye everyone a blessed day